Hello and welcome to part 7 of my bonding series. Today I'll be laying the foundations for drawing molecules. We'll learn how to accurately represent outer shell electron configurations, making it so much easier to see and understand the process when we draw molecules in next week's video. So let's begin with hydrogen. Now hydrogen has one electron in its outer shell. So I'm going to represent electrons today with these circles. Carbon now, which is in group four, has four electrons in its outer shell. Remember, match their group number with a number of outer shell electrons, really important. When drawing the electrons for carbon, it's really important, like I've done here, to put them equally spaced out around the circle, one electron in each quadrant. This ensures that the electrons are as far away as possible. That's one way of remembering. But also, there are four different electron orbitals that these electrons are added to. Now, I know this theory is beyond GCSE. And if you want to find out more, check out my blog on this at www.jfchem.com. Now, let's move on with this atomic orbital theory and look at nitrogen, which is in group five, so I'll have five outer shell electrons. How do we draw these five outer shell electrons? Well, what I'll do is I'll start by drawing its first four, exactly like carbons. So one, two, three, four. And then what happens next is electrons pair up in orbitals. So I'm gonna put one electron extra here. Next up, We've got oxygen, which is in group six. So oxygen will have six outer shell electrons. And again, what we're gonna do is represent its four outer shell electron orbitals. And then what happens, just like with nitrogen, is you pair up. So you've got a pair here and a pair here. So you've got two pairs of electrons two singly occupied electrons okay electron orbitals even finally i'll look at chlorine now chlorine is more commonly used in drawing molecules and fluorine so i think it's quite useful to start with that chlorine is in group seven always start just like the clock clockwise you go one two Four and you go five, six, seven. And there we are. It's got three pairs of electrons and one, one single electron. Now, why is this tip important? It is really important uh, because non-metals form covalent bonds by seeking pairs of electrons, and it is the singly occupied outer shell electrons that form covalent bonds. So hydrogen has one singly occupied electron so it can form one covalent bond. Carbon has four singly occupied electrons so it can form four covalent bonds. Nitrogen can only form three covalent bonds. Oxygen can only form two because it has two singly occupied electrons and chlorine can only form one. Now, by seeing this, you will understand how to draw covalent bonds so much more easily. Now, let's do an exercise using this periodic table. Draw the outer shell electrons of the following atoms. One, phosphorus, found in group five. Two, sulfur, found over here, group six. 3 fluorine up here in group 7 then I want you to do argon number 4 and finally silicon group 4 
I also want you to indicate paired and single electrons and state how many covalent bonds each of these atoms can form. Pause the video and try the exercises. Okay, let's review the answers. So phosphorus has five electrons. So it's got one pair of electrons and three single electrons, so it can form three bonds. Sulfur with six electrons in the outer shell. Two paired and two single. Fluorine. Fluorine, as you can see, I'm going around it in sort of clockwise order, has three paired and one single. Argon, and it can form one bond. Argon, as it's a noble gas, has a full outer shell electron, so every single outer shell electron is paired up, so it can't form any bonds. And finally, we have silicon over here with four unpaired electrons. So it can form four covalent bonds. So that is it for today. Join me next week where I'll be drawing molecules. Some will be easy, some will be a bit beyond GCSE. Either way, it should be a lot of fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing content coming soon. Bye for now.